This exercise is about creating a steady alternating bass pattern and playing a kind of broken arpeggio over the top. Um, it may be something that uh, you do already, but um, I also wanted to um, focus on shifting the left hand or the fretting hand from a kind of what I'd call an uh, outside position into an inside position. I, uh, maybe that's just me. I'm not quite sure if that's a kind of general knowledge, but uh, I, I feel that's a kind of outside fretting position, and this one's playing inside for me. See how that the hand turns. So as well as playing the groove with the picking hand, you also have to, also have to think about changing the position of the left hand without interrupting the flow. All right. So let's do the groove first. We've got this alternating idea with the thumb on strings six and four. Okay, and I'm going to put those broken arpeggio notes over the top. So you get one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and the only long note is the first beat. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four. Okay, um, at speed it's, it has that kind of rippling effect. Okay. Next what I want to do is change from the chord of D to the chord of G. Okay, I'm in drop D tuning here, and the G in the bass is on the fifth fret, and I'd like you to try playing it with the fourth finger. Okay, so the idea is that you'll be playing this chord, and then you want to practice turning the hand around to play the bass G, and in a minute we're going to be using the first finger on the high F sharp. Okay, but for the, the next exercise, you want to start that groove, then turn the fourth finger around and hopefully the groove isn't interrupted by the left hand or the fretting hand. Outside, inside. Now I'm going to add a hammer on D high F sharp, so I really hope that exercise helps with the transition from one chord to another. Um, you could pick a selection of chords of your own, so you maybe you want to start from D, you could head up to something kind of epic like B flat, you know. Okay, so the idea is, you know, select a couple of chords and be careful not to do, not to interrupt the flow just because you're moving the fretting hand around. Okay, have fun. <laughs>